Welcome to the shop. <clears throat> Today, uh, still moving on the engraving uh, things. So, I downloaded a whole bunch of templates like this to and this is the one I'm working on this one failed last night um, and I've got a whole bunch of other ones over there uh, including some like this just little uh, templates like their templates uh, so that's again that's what I'll be working on today so uh, I'll come back when I get a further a little further along okay a uh, quick hole later um, should be able to remove this piece from this guy and put him pretty comfortably directly into this guy. Look at, look at that. Uh, pretty fantastic stuff. And I haven't organized a way to keep the gravers facing the way I want to and, and whatnot yet. But, you know, I, I will. It's just a matter of time, I suppose. So yeah, that's a, that's a pretty solid uh, mounting spot for an engraving tool to go. So next up is to sharpen some gravers and hopefully actually do some engraving. Like, that, that, that wouldn't that be nice? Like, I think it would be nice, so. Well, I suppose next up is to build a sharpening station. I, I know I've got the sharpening section over here, but that's not for specifically gravers um so i'm going to use the drill press that i just mounted <laughs> yeah it's, it's a beard it does that uh i'm going to use the drill press that i just mounted in here to to act as a, a place to specifically place these types of sharpening discs it's a diamond honing discs that it comes with uh or i didn't come with it i ordered i, I shouldn't come with i built this so whatever um, and then there's these templates that, uh, have to be set at a pretty specific length. I think it's 40 millimeters from the base to the end. Um, and this is the shaping small one just gives you the general shape. And then this one gives you the honed edges that, that you need to actually do some engraving with. So kind of interesting concept and I don't really understand it all but I'm building it and uh, if I can make it work uh, I'll make it work and that is not particularly accurate so I think we're gonna get this accurate now so uh, it's almost like the universe knows how to te tease me uh, that is what that plate is for, and it's used in junction with uh, the jigs here that were made off of those paper templates that I showed in photos earlier to uh, sharpen the tips on the engraving heads that go into the graver machine uh, so that I can engrave. I'm the engraver, this is the graver. It took me a really long time to figure that out. Okay, well, that's got the magnetic light set up. I suppose I'll post some of that information to Facebook and uh, Instagram, at least until the cord comes up and I can start using this camera. Uh, next up is going to be sorting out where to put the new regulator uh, for the air. Um, and hopefully I can fill some of that. We'll see how it works out. All right, 3,000 years later, the compressor calms down. So this and a regulator got wired in today. It's still running about 40 pounds, uh, and the compressor still makes a ton of noise, but it's working. Um, and you can't really see it, but let's see if I can pan over. That right there, this thing, uh, is meant to be a jig or the plate to hold hold still while I uh, sharpen the graver tips. I thought I had a few sharpened because you know anyway here's one that's kind of kind of botched up but 
there it is and there's a there's a few more uh, fixtures and stuff that I built that are floating around the shop somewhere uh, and uh, hopefully with a little bit of luck I'll actually be in engraving before too long or I shouldn't say luck but a whole lot more hard work and I'll be engraving before too long uh, and I'm just gonna keep moving in the shop if it suits you take a minute and like and subscribe because that really makes me feel okay uh, if it doesn't, well, whatever.